Hi, Glenn Wallace here with the new Full Tone Mass Mallow. It's a distortion slash fuzz pedal. It's very cool. It's red. It's got a picture of a pepper on it. That's cool. I like peppers. Anyhow, it has three matched new old stock BC1A4C transistors in it, and that's important to know because this knob, the heat knob, controls the gain of the first of those transistors. So I'll jump right in here. Here is my clean tone. I've got a Nash T63 going into a Fender Deluxe Reverb 68 Custom, mic with an Audix i5 into my Apollo Twin Duo into Pro Tools. That's bridge pickup. Here's neck, P90, and a uh, Tele bridge. And here's my neck pickup, P90. All right, everything's set to 12 o'clock here. Let's check it out. So very cool, gritty, very light, overdriven sound. Uh, let me start pushing some of these knobs around so you can hear the difference. So here's the main distortion knob right here. I'm actually going to duck it back so you can hear just how light you can get with this. I'll push the volume up a little bit. position. Uh, neck. So nice warm light overdrive and that's very cool especially you know you do kind of some BB King blues type stuff. Start pushing it forward a little bit. I'll roll the volume back. So you heard the gain up at 12 o'clock. Here it is right beforehand. Go a little farther forward. position. starting to break into distortion territory. It does get really heavy, so here, let's just go all the way. And how about Creeping Death? while for me on that riff okay I kind of forgot it but as you can see very very versatile all right so let's start dialing in this uh, heat knob right here and here I'll just got it 12 o'clock here I'll push it to three well first check it out here all right Middle 
fetal position. Neck position. Alright, push the heat knob all the way up. And if I start dialing up the main distortion control, then it really gets pretty hairy. dial the heat control back, you hear it tightens up quite a bit. Pushed all the way forward, it's just not quite as meaty. Or maybe just not quite as saturated, you can still really hear the individual notes. This guy in, and it gets really heavily saturated. Kind of get into a little bit of a uh, Marshall, you know, sort of a Jason. Um, not sure which one, maybe a 800 kind of territory. It's just a little bit plexy. Like I like to do these add nine chords, and that's 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 the does it sound plexy to me chord. It's the. So that's fun because I love the uh, Marshall sound. This thing doesn't sound exactly like one, but you can kind of get there with it. Now I'll come to this knob, the color knob. So is it a tone knob? No, it's more like a filter sweep. It's very, to me, it's similar to the filter knob on the Earthquaker Devices Bit Commander, but it's got a little more to it. I don't really don't know how to explain it, so let me just show you. So here we are, 12 o'clock. <laughs> Let's go all the way back. I've got this white tape here because this is one of those pedals with super bright lights and uh, it drives the camera crazy. So it's just, it's easier on the eyes, even though it does look kind of trashy. Anyhow. So it really rolls off the highs. It's kind of a little mid crunchy in there. Start rolling forward. Well, you heard that already, so here, we'll go three o'clock. Now, this is where it starts to get fun. This is the what I really like about this pedal. And I like it when you get it up here. You can really, well, you can almost get Smashing Pumpkins, you know, uh, Siamese Dream, which... Uh, Granted, you need like 50 guitars and, and a whole wall of fuzz to do that, but let's just push it all up and check it out. Super gnarly at that stage right there. I love the way that sounds. So, super versatile, right? And just to kind of give you an idea, just genre-wise, so here, let's dial all this back up a little bit and see what we got here. All right. All right, so that's pretty cool right there. All right, so here we go.
okay? So we just went from really light, funky blues to Pantera's Far Beyond Driven. So that's a versatile pedal to me. This pedal also cleans up very nicely. Uh, so here we are, full volume, bridge pickup. <laughs> position, full volume. That's always fun when you can uh, clean it up with your volume knob. It's one of my favorite things about any distortion overdrive slash buzz pedal. And finally, it does play well with other pedals. So here it is by itself. And here it is with my J Rocket Archer, just set to a clean boost setting, no gain. You can get really get pretty uh, gnarly with this one too. It just beefs up the signal so much. So let's crank. That was my uh, that was my attempt at playing uh, Blitzkrieg, uh, which I'm really rusty on my old school Metallica. That's kind of how I learned to play guitar now. I can't remember any of those riffs. All right, anyway, I digress. Um, here it is with a Timmy. So here's the clean tone. Here's my Timmy. All right, here's the full tone. And with the Timmy. the Land Devices HP2. It's a harmonic uh, percolator clone. It's a really, really great pedal. I love it. Uh, I actually did a review on it. Check this pedal out, man. It is 140 bucks and worth every penny. It is just super cool. All right, so Mas Malo. All right, HP2. And together. modulation pedals. Here it is, uh, the uh, new Waza Craft Boss Vibrato pedal. Strymon Flint. JHS Pink Panther. All right, here it is with the MXR M300 Reverb. So, cool 
stop. Oh, let's see if we can get that reverb to stop. All right, there we go. Uh, very cool stuff. Uh, very affordable pedal. I think they're only about $130 new. And uh, I think worth every penny because, I mean, just look at how much you get out of it. And like all full tone stuff, you know, very, very sturdy, very road worthy. Um, I've had a lot of full tone products. I've really, uh, I've actually never had one go bad on me, but I don't hear about them uh, breaking all that often. So I hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a good one.